The uh, Miss Tan, uh, thank you for coming today. I I know part of this has been difficult for Jashley and Jorian, and but you can be very proud of them. They're they're look like very very nice young men, and they should be proud of both their parents, and they should know that there's people who want to help them. And I couldn't help but think of the family you have and the con contribution to your community are things the federal government should protect. I mean, you, you work actively in your community, in your uh, local Catholic church and other areas. Uh, and both your story and Mr. Stewart's story remind us that we discussed this policy, there's real people involved. I just slipped uh, Mr. Stewart a note to saying that our our family's been on the same, had the same farmhouse for 50 years in Middlesex. And I know how and Middlesex is not that much different than Goshen. I mean, um, so we know that what you want to do is provide your family the good education, provide them with their welfare. Uh, how about others in your community? How do they feel? Have you received support within the within the community from people on this? Yes, I. Press, I the, have press the button so we microphone be on. Yeah. So the little red light comes on. It's on. <laughs> Go ahead. My whole community in Pacifica gave me their utmost support. My congregation, the Church of Good Shepherd, uh, my parish priest, Pastor Leahy, he wrote a very nice letter to Senator Diane Feinstein in support of my plight. And uh, all of the community leaders, they are extending their sympathy. And my friends, the, uh, the school community where my sons attend the Cabril School, they were really extending their support and sympathy in this time of our life. And Mr. Stewart, you're, you're now working for Pfizer in England. You're paying your taxes in England. Um, if you were, this had worked, you, you'd be in the United States. You'd be a taxpayer not only in my state, but wherever Pfizer had you. Is that correct? I'm actually uh, under the earned income exclusion. I also pay taxes in the U.S. as a foreign, as a U.S. citizen living abroad. So I, in fact, pay a heavy tax burden in the U.S. as well. Um, yes, if I were able to... But your skills would be used here in the United States. Yes, I would be able to. The, the headquarters of Pfizer are in New York, and my the, the policy of Pfizer to send people abroad or move them around the global organization is so that they can add the most value to the company. And obviously, at a certain point, my skills could be best used back in headquarters, I believe, and I believe that is why we have the support of our CEO and and chairman. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Bond, you, um, uh, and I mean, embarrass you, it becomes almost a cliche, you're an icon of the civil rights movement and recognized by all of us in that uh, regard. I listened to your statement, um, benefits of family unity and all. Uh, could you say your your statement could apply very well to Mr. Stewart and Ms. Tan? Absolutely. We think we're all united in wanting the same thing. Uh, and the arguments you've heard from personal stories are so compelling, it's hard to see how someone could turn away. Thank you.